Braid Boss is a DeGener exclusive head Braid Boss in charge. First off, hashtag Braid Boss in the comments, okay? I want to come in and talk to you guys about some, some bewares or some dangers of actually being a mobile braider now. I have another video that talks about safety as a braider, so I will let it slide up here or I will leave it in the description box below. But I want to have this conversation on another go around of some dangers that you need to be aware of, of if you're going to be a mobile braider. So the first thing you want to take in consideration is braiding. I was having a conversation with somebody and they're currently doing um, hand to hand merchandise, buy, sell, stuff like that. So they made the comment that they were actually going to go and pick up the stuff. And I was like, uh, sketch. And then the person decided to throw it in my face like, well, what do you think you do when you're going to braid? If you're a mobile braider, you're, there's a high likelihood you're going to strangers' homes. You probably don't know where these people live at. You don't know these people. They don't know you. You don't know them. So I do want you to take precaution and think about your safety when you're out here accepting and booking clients. I know for myself, I go off of intuition. Um, a lot of times, and I know that that doesn't work for everybody, but the grand scheme for people when they usually are going to get their hair done is most people who are going to get their hair done, they're usually not playing. But if you ever get something sketch that feels sketchy in your feeling, your life is not worth going to braid somebody's hair. So I want you to be safe when you are out there booking. So something you might want to look into getting is maybe pepper spray or maybe even a taser, okay? The second thing is that, of course, the location is going to be important. Sometimes you do not know where you're going. Sometimes you may be going into an area that's a little bit, mm, a little iffy, right? So you want to know where you're going and you want to make sure that you know where you're going, know the area that you're going to, and be aware when you're going to some of these areas as a mobile brainer. The next thing you need to think about is distance. Just because a client is willing to pay you does not mean you need to go a far distance to go to get a client. Now, if you are doing that, more power to you. My preference is you have some zip codes, you have a couple of areas that you are willing to travel to and make sure that whether it's your booking site, your website, your Instagram, somewhere you need to have it that you only go to specific places. Anywhere else out of those areas, and for me, I would do 25 mile radius of your area, somewhere local to you. You want to think about that because, again, 25 miles for many of us, that is a completely different city. That's a completely different town that you might not be aware of, you may be unfamiliar of. And then it goes back to the things that I talked about earlier, your safety and knowing the location, knowing the area. Okay, and the last thing is for us to be... So that you don't get caught up in somebody canceling on you and people will still cancel this does not mean people won't cancel on you but to know if somebody's a serious client not only should you be putting in your again your bookings your booking sites your scheduling sites make sure you're telling people this is for serious inquiries only but a way that you can make sure that you're not wasting your time or they're not wasting your time is require deposit even if it's something low, many people don't want to go through that whole hassle of doing a deposit if they're playing games. So something you might do is you might say a $10 to $20 deposit to confirm a date and time with you for your booking. Okay? Again, oh, and the next layer of safety is you guys know that now if you're watching this, when you're watching this, you know what's outside, right? So that's another layer of safety that you have to take into consideration. You know, asking people if you feel comfortable. Have they been around somebody who has had the vid? Do they know anybody that has the vid? Does anybody in their house have the vid or has had the vid, right? Even if you wanna get all that personal, you, you know, are these people vaccinated? Are you vaccinated? Do you care, right? But that's another level of safety that you have to take into consideration. Again, these are not deal stoppers, but I want you to be aware of your safety. I want you to be aware of your location. I want you to be aware of your distance. I want you to be aware of possibly making a deposit just so you can confirm that somebody's going to book with you for real. And then last but not least, making sure you're considering the current circumstances that we are in in the 2022s and beyond. Okay, so you guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you're going in the description below. Check out my Braid Hair for Cash course, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.